Selamat datang and welcome to the Sepang International Circuit here in Malaysia. Student teams from 13 countries throughout Asia have come to compete for the title of the most fuel efficient vehicle. I'm Karo Riza from Shell Malaysia and this is Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2011. What do you guys think, like, just uh, arriving here on the first day? Oh, um, yeah, it's a great feeling, actually, after of so much hard work, effort, everything, we, we arrive here. We can get the best result and we can win the prize. Konnichiwa! Gambarimasu! We're really excited and look forward to the run. We are from Brunei and we hope to give our best show for this event for this year. First time to Malaysia and first time to Shell Eco Marathon. This is the second run of Shell Eco Marathon here in Asia. Now this competition is all about distance rather than speed. Which team will emerge with the most fuel efficient vehicle? Let's find out. Well the Asia competition is great because it's brand new. This is only the second year. But at the same time I think uh, people would be interested to know it's not that much different. There's uh, great innovation in Europe, there's great innovation in Americas, and great innovation in Asia along with passionate students who really want to help us meet the world's energy challenge. There are two types of vehicles in this competition. Futuristic prototypes and more conventional urban concept vehicles. Here comes a prototype on its test run right now. I think one of the exciting things about Shell Eco Marathon, and especially here in Asia, is just to see some of the ideas around technology, around innovation, as it pertains to transport, mobility, uh, getting most efficiency out of vehicles that these students are able to, to, to bring to the competition. And when you walk around the pits and, uh, and you talk to the teams and you look at their cars, and uh, it gets very exciting to think about where some of these ideas may go over the next 5, 10, 15 years as, as these students become you know, engineers in, in either the fuels business or the auto business or wherever they end up. As always, safety is of the utmost importance. Each morning, students are given a safety briefing. what's been good this year is that having gone through the program last year many of the students that have taken part or the schools that have taken part are more aware of how they should be putting safety first and that for us is a very key aspect of this program we're looking for goal zero and I think we have no incidents so far and that's been really good so I'm really very proud of the teams very proud of the way in which the organizing committee has been able to bring that safety message across so it's been Fantastic. We're here at the technical inspection area. Each vehicle must undergo stringent scrutineering. It's a crucial step as the teams won't be able to go out and run on the track until they get through the technical inspection. What I would recommend is that they really look through the rules carefully and ensure that they have proper compliance with the rules so that uh, when they come here, things move very smoothly. Otherwise, there, there's a lot of things that they have to reconfigure and that takes up a lot of time and reduces their time on the track. This year, we're fortunate enough to have CEO of Royal Dutch Shell, Peter Bozer, to flag off. You have a great opportunity here as students to actually contribute to the future of mobility, the future of a planet which needs to have products and cars which have a lower CO2 emission. Through your innovation capabilities, you can be a great example for the rest of the world. Shell Eco Marathon aims to inspire engineering students to develop new approaches on smarter mobility and energy efficiency. This year we're introducing a new energy type, the plug-in electric vehicle in the e-mobility class. 
Let's check it out. So what makes your car unique compared to other plug-in electrics? Uh, our car is very state-of-the-art as it has a cruise control system and then the car has a mind of its own. It knows when it's going to accelerate at a certain rate and when it's going to decelerate. Another first this year at the Shell Eco Marathon is an all-girls team. Hey, this is Rashmi Sharma, the driver of Team Vidyotma. I'm from India. I can just say that uh, we are going to compete this competition. We are going to uh, show that we are at par with the men. There's more to this event than just the competition. It's also a place to meet new friends, learn new things, and have fun. We are pretty much the ambassador for everything. We need to know every single location, everything that's happening, the whole layout. It's a fun event, a happy experience as well. There are over 170 volunteers from nine countries this year who helped out to make sure that Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2011 will be a success. Today is the last day of the competition and the student teams are doing all that they can to set their highest fuel efficiency record. This is the most challenging part of the course as a steep incline followed by a turn. As you can see, a lot of cars tend to stall here. Uh, this is my last lap for this round, but the, the engine back there cannot start. Then there's more coming out. This is the last one. Oh, I have trouble with my fuel system. My fuel system has been leakage. Oh, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So what? So what happened up there? You just installed the engine? Yes, I will. I will repair this. I'm here with the team currently leading the pack. Let's have a few words with the team manager. And what's the secret to you getting such a great score? And the first one is the, um, the body of the car. We have the lightweight of the body. And second one is the engine itself. We have some controller to control automatic injection. That's why we can use a less fuel. And the third one is the driver. He has quite skillful and know the engine really well. So he can manage to, to use less energy to, to drive this time. We want to see more teams from more countries. It's going to happen one more year in Kuala Lumpur, Sepang. It's going to happen in July next year and we want to see them on the track and competing. At the end of four grueling but exciting days of competition, the time has finally arrived to recognize the big winners of this year's Shell Eco Marathon Asia. Well that about wraps up our coverage for Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2011. This has been Kyle Reza from Shell Malaysia. We'll see you guys next year at Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2012. Bye!